Hello and welcome to this week's ABTutor video. This video will run through the initial installation of ABTutor version 9. ABTutor 9 consists of three components. The central server stores all the settings and data for your site and manages the connections between the other components. This makes connections far more reliable and allows clients to be managed even if they are only online some of the time. The console is used to manage the clients, to control them, send commands and apply policies. The client runs invisibly on the computers being controlled and performs the instructions sent from the console. To install ABTutor, start by downloading the server installer from your account on our website. This installer includes all the files you will need for the three components. The server you install on must be running a server version of Windows, for example 2012 or 2016, and we recommend at least a dual-core processor and 8GB of RAM or more for larger sites. We also recommend that you set your DNS server to point ABCS at the central server. This makes installation easier and makes it possible to move the server to a different computer later if you need to. Run the installer and go through the wizard as normal. Once the installation is finished, open the server's web interface by going to https colon slash slash abcs colon 5151 and log in with the username admin and password pass. The server dashboard has quick links to the initial setup tasks, so select License the server and then choose whether to activate with a full license or a trial. The easiest way to activate is with your abtutor.com email address and password. If you have control of multiple accounts, for example as a reseller or a trust, you can then choose which license you want to use. The next step is to create a user or users for running ABTutor. We recommend adding at least one user manually even if you are going to use Active Directory Sync for most of them as this will prevent you from getting locked out if there are any problems with the sync. Enter your user's details here then click Create User. Now choose what roles your new user will have. For your first user you will probably want them to be a full admin so select Web Administrator and Console User then Console Administrator from the console roles that appear. This will give your user full access to everything. While you're here, we recommend that you either delete or change the password of the original admin user to ensure that no other authorised users can get access to your server. The next step is to install some clients and consoles. You can download the client and console installer from the server dashboard. There are links for both Windows MSI and Mac package files. For this video, I'll run the installer manually to show the options, but there is more information on configuring your installer for a silent install in the modified installer video. Run the client and console installer on one of your desktops. From the installer you can choose whether you install the client, the console or both. The default is to just install the client as this is the most common install. You can also specify the server location and port number if they need to be changed from the default of ABCS and 5151. The installer will then automatically download the necessary files from the server. Once the installer has finished, if you install a client you will need to approve it on the central server. This ensures that no unauthorised clients can get access to your network. In the web interface, select Devices and check that all clients in the list are expected to be there. You can either accept them individually or use the Accept All button at the top to approve them all in one go. The final step of initial setup is to configure groups for your users. Run ABTutor and log in using your new console admin account that we created earlier. From here you can create new groups by dragging computers onto the Shared Groups icon and add to groups by dragging computers into existing ones. Having computers in groups allows non-admins to see them. If you want different users to see different computers, please see the video on restricting groups. At this point, ABTutor is ready to use. There is of course a lot more to it, but this covers the basics. I hope that's been helpful, but if you have any questions, please email us at support.abtutor.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.